McDonald's, America needs, and what I've always said is, where are we? I always say that as a country called, where are we? What do we need? Where are we? What do we need? These are the things that keep me up at night. I go, where are we? What do we need? And you know what we need? We need more McDonald's. That's our medicine. We need more McDonald's. The prescription for what this country needs is more McDonald's in a slightly different, because look at what McDonald's has done. It's a legendary concept originating where all good things do in California, where you can get cheeseburgers for almost nothing whenever you want. That's what McDonald's is. It's other things. Yes, it's Grimace and the hamburger. It's fun. They have the play place. The McGriddle's nice. But it's it's the beginning of fast food. The idea and the concept that someone somewhere is going to hand you a hot cheeseburger through a window immediately pretty much whenever you want. That is one of the most revolutionary concepts in American history. You may think we've abused that concept, and there's certainly some evidence. (laughs) I've abused it. I know my friends have abused it. But that is what McDonald's is. McDonald's is now launching a new concept. It's being launched in Bolingbrook or Bolingbrook, Illinois. Bolingbrook, Illinois, it's called Cosmics. C-O-S-M-C's. It's not open yet. There was a team full of actors in the drive-thru filling a, uh, filming a commercial, so the menu was up, and I was able to snap a few pics from afar. It's a, a mix of a lot of new drink offerings and an all-day breakfast menu of new items. So here's what McDonald's has realized. They look at Starbucks, and they go, Starbucks is killing people with drinks. Much easier. You look, look at any Starbucks. There's not a lot of people working in a Starbucks. It's a pretty pared down concept. You can kill pe- a good amount of people. It's a real genocide <laughs> with frappuccinos in there. You can kill them easily. You need a blender, some syrup, some ice, and a lid. That's it. You don't need grills and onions and cheeseburgers. You don't need hash browns. You don't need little apple slices to pretend to give to the kids and all that bullshit. You don't need characters. You don't need all you need. You don't need a fry cook. All you need is a couple marginally intelligent, reasonably desperate people to work there all day, manning the, they're all versions of a slushie. The, the maligned thing that we all hated at 7-Eleven and we all made fun of because it is heinous. The Quickie Mart slushy from The Simpsons. The, the just cold slush in your uh, glass is what a Frappuccino is. Now, of course, it tastes better. It's got caffeine. It's coffee. It's sugar. But that's what Starbucks does. You know, yes, they do coffee. They do other things. Well, what about the paninis? Yeah, sure, sure. But what they do is every month at Starbucks, they have a new way to kill you. They have a caramel uh, macchiato with toasted coconut. They have a mocha cookie crumble. They have a, it's a milkshake. That's all it is. And they have holiday. They have a caramel brulee, peppermint, mocha, you know. And... What these things do is they're addictive. You ever had a Frappuccino? I have. You drive through. The third sip, I may get one after this, just (laughs) hearing myself talk about it. The third sip or fourth sip of a Frappuccino, your eyes open. Your, Your headache, if you have a tiny little headache, it goes away. You make that right turn. Onto the fucking, uh, you know, onto the service road or the parkway or the highway. And you are doing good. And you put it in the cup holder and maybe there's a song that Mariah, I don't want to laugh. (laughs) And, 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 and you are just, you are on, you're riding the horse of sugar and it tastes good. 
And now I used to do it with a little perk doodle do. I'd have a Percocet, and you'd put a Marlboro Menthol Light in your mouth, or a Newport, or a Marlboro Light. Oh, Lord Jesus. <laughs> oh, Lord. And then the shit that would just gather in your stomach that you would take at the office. And you would spend the first 10 minutes in the office shitting that glorious Percocet Starbucks cigarette shit. Now, when you have when you have an office job, these are the small, lovely pleasantries we talked about a couple episodes back. So what McDonald's has realized, because all these executives sit around and they basically go, how do we kill people? How do we kill them? How do we do it? How do we kill people? And peep, the McDonald's goes, you know, they're coming after red meat. Yeah, they don't like that. They're saying that. The cow's farting is killing the ozone layer. Everybody's getting skin cancer. The waters are going to rise. Going to be a real day after tomorrow situation. You know, Miami, Manhattan, all these places flooded. California's on fire. Not good. Uh, We don't like it. Not good. So they go, we got to figure out how to transition out of red meat. This is what McDonald's, I truly believe they thought like this because they're smart. They're not dumb. They're smart. And they go, how do we kill people? Make that big. This is how you kill people. (laughs) This is how you kill people. With a churro frappe. (laughs) Churro frappe. S'mores cold brew. This is how you kill people. (laughs) This is how you kill people in a world that has turned against red meat. We've turned against a cheeseburger. Red meat's a symbol of the patriarch. You don't give a shit about anything. I I bet you hit trans people with a stick. So... The churro frappe comes. The s'mores cold brew. Can you imagine that? (laughs) The sour cherry energy burst for the minorities. (laughs) There's got to be something for them. There's nothing wrong with it. Tropical, what does that say? Spice aid looks a little like spick aid, but I, that's (laughs) theirs. That's what they, it's spice aid. Blueberry ginger burst for the people who are like, I just need... A little cleansing today. Blackberry mint green tea. Island pick me up punch. Ooh. Berry hibiscus sour aid. Popping pear slush. <laughs> Popping pear slush. Sour tango lemonade. Chai frappe burst. Turmeric spice light. So now what they'll do, they do this and then they also have like a green tea. It's just like McDonald's has the salad. Here's how you kill people. And by the way, if you don't think I'm going to uh, Bolingbrook, Illinois <laughs> in like a day, yeah. you're crazy because I, this does look phenomenal. Now, but this is, they are trying to kill you. And that, knowing that is okay because everybody hates cynicism. Conan O'Brien, who I think is a brilliant comedian who I respect and love and everything he's done, I love. But he said one day, there's one moment I had a little disagreement with him, but he is such a iconic, legendary guy that you just, everything he says, he goes, yeah, I I bet parts of what he's saying, I understand where he goes, I hate cynicism. It's my least favorite emotion and it doesn't produce anything good. I understand what he's saying and where he's coming from, but I've always valued a little bit of cynicism and I'll tell you why it can keep you alive and it can keep you, um, it can keep you from getting in trouble Too much delusion isn't good. Um, Ascribing motives to people that are positive isn't good. Oh, you don't know why someone's trying to help you. You don't know why. It could be because they're a lovely, amazing person and they just get off on helping people. It might be because they like the position that they're in versus the one that you're in. They might like that dynamic of being kind of above you. They might want to control you. There's all kinds of reasons. And I'm not saying you shouldn't take help or you should be overly paranoid, but like, especially when it comes to American corporations, I think maybe a little bit of cynicism when it comes to narratives about war and peace, a little bit of cynicism. When uh, a, a new credit card line is launched where they go, it's no money to no interest. You're the winner, you know. 27 months, no payment. Like, be a little cynical about these things. Um, So when McDonald's goes, we're going to open this new concept, be a little cynical. They're trying to kill you. They have something called McPops. They're little donuts. 
filled with peanut butter and Nutella. They have a spicy queso sandwich, creamy avocado tomatillo sandwich, pretzel bites, egg McMuffins, McFlurries, caramel fudge brownie sundaes, cookies, caramel fudge brownie, the twist cone, savory hash brown bites. But make no mistake, the star of the menu will be the drinks. That is what they want. They're trying to kill you now, primarily with liquid. It is easier. They can make it easier. It's cheaper. It gets you addicted. You're addicted, and you go, fuck it. I want a s'mores cold brew. That's how I want to start my day, with a churro frappe. And and when, when they come out with the nutrition information and what's in these, make no mistake, these will be, it will be a cup of poison. It will be sugar. Do they have any of it? I'm looking for it right now. Yeah, Let's see if we can find any of it. You want to see the churro one first? Let's see the churro frappe first. Um, what is the churro frappe working with in terms of? 610 calories. Only 610 calories That's for for a drink. <laughs> 610 calories on the churro frappe. Yeah. Do we have the breakdown of sugar? Uh, not yet. It's proprietary. They're not going to give out ingredients. Yeah, they're not going to. Right. Okay. So this is their new. It By the way, it represents a shift. Fast food over the next months, weeks, years is going to move away from red meat. They're going to move away into things that feel healthy that are not. This is what's going to happen. McDonald's is the most powerful and biggest company. The fact that they're doing a drink restaurant shows you that the future is probably going to be in, in things like that. They can kill you in many different ways. They don't need to kill you the way they've always killed you. They can end your life slowly in many different ways. And the way that they're going to do it is by opening a Starbucks for people that film fight videos after school. Because that's who goes to McDonald's, a lot of people. Uh McDonald's knows where their locations are. Yes, some of them are in the suburbs. Some of them are in the city, the interstate. And what are you going to drink when a bitch pops off to another bitch and they start beating each other and 30 kids with iPhones are filming it, you know what you're going to drink? A popping pear slush. As they wipe the blood off the floor of the Bronx Grand Concourse McDonald's, you are going to hear the slurp of a churro frappe being finished at Cosmic's. When the bloody floor of a Cosmix is being cleaned with ammonia by an immigrant who doesn't speak English, someone will have a cold brew s'mores and you'll hear the clink of the ice. This is marketed to people that just want to get high. It's about getting high. And McDonald's is like, we just need to run these... Do we have any art or any renderings of what these will look like inside? Uh, here we go. Where will people drink the sour cherry energy burst or the tropical spice aid? Where will they drink that? When you are typing free Palestine onto <laughs> X, you will be drinking a tropical spice aid. No insides yet. Just no inside. insides yet. Blue and yellow. Very interesting. So th- this is coming. This is coming. It's Sonic. It looks like Sonic. Well, what they're trying to do is they're trying to move away from what they've made their money doing, which is beef and red meat. Mm-hmm. And they know that the people that are still into red meat are are, are people that, are going, oh, it has benefits, keto, carnivore, whatever. Now, obviously, poor people still eat burgers. But it's that vast middle people that don't have enough money for a ribeye that's grass-fed, and they're not totally fucked where they're just eating White Castle. It's that vast middle class that they're the ones we try everything out on. They're the ones we go, we yell at them all the time, you know, don't use too much toilet paper. How, how long are you in the shower for? 
It's the middle class. The rich do whatever they want, and the poor just try to survive. The middle class, they're the ones we try out all our shit on. Every guilt trip gets delivered directly to the doors of the middle class, usually by the rich. Mm -hmm. They go, this is what you should care about, you mouth breather. So the middle class right now, they're being beaten down by don't eat red meat, red meat's bad, climate change, red meat, climate change, boom, boom, boom. It's in every article, every article that the Times is putting out, the New Yorker, even the Journal, Wall Street Journal, all of these publications are putting out the idea that red meat draw a line to climate change, draw a line to we're all flooded and dead. That burger draw a line to your mouth. And rich people don't give a shit. They, go, they own all the shit that's poisoning the planet. They don't care. And poor people are like, I have $3. What do you want me to do? I have $3. I got to eat. I got an eight-hour shift. I've been broke. I was a tour guide in New York City. When I got off, I had dollar pizza. I had no money. What was I going to do? Have a wild-caught salmon for $38? It's not going to happen. You don't have a lot of time. When you're poor, you're broke. Here's the hot thing that's cheap for you. So what McDonald's is smartly realizing is that this middle class that they still have to try to lure into their restaurants, they have to lure the middle class into their restaurants along with the lower class. That's why they have the, you know, all the tropical spicy. I mean, that's being aimed at people that don't have a lot of money. And then they have the blueberry green tea. This is green tea. Hibiscus. This is the hibiscus green tea. (laughs) You know, they have all of those things because those things are... Um, aimed and targeted at kind of the little white, you know, the white woman who's having a hibiscus. And I went to Cosmex. I have my hibiscus, blueberry, green tea. And man, I I wish Hamas would just tie me to a tree. (laughs) I think about just a couple of Arab men tie me to the back of a truck. I just sit there with my hibiscus tea and I sexualize monster terrorists because I'm bored. And that's what, you know, this is what Cosmix, Cos MC is going to do. Um, but it does represent kind of that significant shift in what fast food has to do because this is, they have to lure you in. They have to hit you over the head. And Americans, you know, it's the, uh, it's that old adage, right? It's like the, the rich, the poor kind of get away, but it's the middle class that we, We experiment on. It's an experiment. Feeding people sugar like this is an experiment, and we're going to experiment on the lab rats in the American suburbs. That's why this is happening in Bolingbrook, Illinois. We go, this isn't happening in Malibu. They're not doing this on Park Avenue in Manhattan. They're doing it in Bolingbrook, Illinois. They're like, when you get off work at the plant, whatever plant's even left, Or you're on your way to be a fifth grade teacher. You want to stop at Cosmics and get a churro frappe to just give yourself the the buzz, the sugar high to stare at these children and get through the day. That's really what it comes down to. Mm -hmm. 